Good morning, everybody. How's everybody doing today? You guys pop in and say, hey, take a little break from your day, from all the work you're doing. Just drop it for 30 minutes and have some fun. We're going to do some beautiful art with shells today. So I've got these big, beautiful shells. I'm going to show you an easy way to create something really beautiful and special that you could give for Mother's Day. So I've been trying to come up with lots of ideas for y'all for Mother's Day gifts or just to make for yourself. Or maybe you sell things and you could make these and sell at a craft show or something. So pop in here and say, hey, I've got it pulled up. Hi, Tana. I hope you're feeling okay today, girl. How you doing? How's everybody today? Let's see. Can y'all hear me okay? Looks like you can see. Okay, y'all, look at this beautiful selection I've got of glass and shells and these tiny, tiny, let me just show you these tiny, this one actually lost a little leg. These are so fragile. Can y'all see that? So fragile that the little legs will come off. But hi, Debbie. Good to see you live, girl. I miss you. How are you this morning? Hi, Wendy. I'm so glad y'all are popping in. Hi, Kristen from Northwest Ohio. Hi, Marty. Good to see you too. Hello, Michelle. Hi, Colleen. These, oh, look at this one, y'all. Can y'all see this? It's got a baby shell inside of it. It's already a baby shell, but it's got the tiniest. I don't even know if I can get this out. That is the tiniest little shell in here. Looking for my little tweezers, but I don't see them. Um, wow, I don't know if I can get that out. That is, if I can, that will be so cute because that is a baby. Got to be really careful. They're so fragile. I don't think I can. I, I might can with the proper little tweezers, but that is a tiny baby shell inside there. How cute. Hi, Christy. Minnie's all over you. Oh, I wish I had a cuddle dog. Our dog, you know, is a boxer and she's huge and, you know, she always has cuddled with us, but, um, but she'll cuddle and then walk away. Like she wants, or not cuddle, but she'll come get love and then walk away. She wants to lay by herself, you know. Oh, Maria, thank you guys. When you sprinkle, I, I just can't thank you enough. It helps us with the algorithm. So sprinkle away if you can. I would greatly appreciate it. They say that it only helps if you can sprinkle, um, what's the word, uh, publicly. So like to your page or something. So if you sprinkle to a group or to uh, messenger, that doesn't count. But sprinkle publicly. Thank you so much, Debbie. Hi, Patty. Glad y'all are here. Hope you're having a good day. Uh, Deborah Ann, good morning or afternoon. You're just waking up, Debbie. So you're on uh, West Coast. Yes, I know. Get some coffee, girl. All right, let's get started. I have just had the best time doing some shell art. So if you guys have seen... These are on my website if you want to purchase a kit. You can always message me if you want to purchase one that I make, but I give you everything you need to make these. So it's got the shell, all of the glass, the sand, the shell chips, the little starfish, and then a larger shell. And then we've got this one, which is a little bit larger shell, and it's got glass and little pearls. Um, and the little shell chips. So it's more of a girly look, you know, because it's so pink and sparkly. Um, this one's my favorite, I think. But I still love this one just because we all love the beach, right? And the ocean. So they're both gorgeous. So you can't go wrong. But I'm going to show you another one today. I just love making them. And it's vacation time. Everybody's talking about planning vacations. And I think it's just fun. But I think these make great gifts because they're so unique, you know, and yeah, that's mine too, Connie. Hi, Barbara. Oh yeah, I forgot that, Debbie. You're not, are you? Y'all, sorry about my hair. I feel bad when I just put my hair up, but it is so humid here in Texas. So, so humid. Thank you, Maria, that I couldn't deal with it. It just won't do anything in this weather. I feel like I got everybody. Patty, thank you for sprinkling. I so appreciate it. Okay. I'm going to show y'all how easy this is. 
So I use tacky glue and I'm just going to start arranging. You don't even have to really glue this in. If you want to use resin, then you could just uh, put your things in resin. But I'm going to show you the easy way without resin to just use our tacky glue and some um, triple thick to seal it. So you can just kind of start getting your tacky glue down and placing things where you want them. And sometimes I'll use like a, a little wood stick to kind of move it around. Oh, good morning, Darlene. Should find a, I know, right? Well, my dog, which is a boxer, was a surprise. My husband surprised me with it. I do love boxers. I've always, you know, loved them. And, and um, I must have said, you know, how, oh, I'd love to have a boxer. I don't know. But anyway, he's totally surprised me because, you know, I mean, it's a pretty big surprise. Um, and she has turned out to be his dog. So she was supposed to be my dog. It was a gift. But, yeah, she's she's his dog. So I kind of have some of this separated how I kind of wanted to use it. I'm going to do this one more of like a uh, champagne color and gold. And you can just kind of drop in your, I usually place my uh, glass really carefully, but on these, you really, you know, it looks great to just kind of have it clustered in a, you know, with no rhyme or reason and have it going all different ways. So that's what I'm doing here is just kind of getting it in here. I am kind of getting it to where it will sit on some of that glue. You definitely want it to be secured down with the glue. But this glue holds really well and, of course, dries clear. So I like using this. And if you decide you want to make some of these, then you can look at my kits on my website, which I have linked, you know, in the description of the video, or, you know, just go on Amazon and you can purchase all the supplies yourself if you'd rather do it that way um, and get exactly what you're wanting. But I try to always offer kits. I can't do it on everything, but... I have a lot of people who prefer it because they work full time and don't have time to go to three different stores looking for what they want, you know, so it makes it easy and convenient. And I tell you, sometimes it's hard to find these things because they sell out the shells, uh, you know, when they go on sale or something, you can't even get them. They're out of stock. So anyway, I'm just going to kind of, layer this glass on there and already if you just did glass how pretty i mean it's still gorgeous but we're going to do some more hello karen from the uk glad you're here hi carol uh, maria i i just i don't know um hours i mean it would take several hours to dry i just do these one you know like right now and then tomorrow i'd be able to mail it so one day or less, you know. And so right now I'm just gonna kinda get this background covered with the glass. I'm not painting this one because this comes this color. I mean, it's just a beautiful mauve pink uh, and the design on it is gorgeous. So I don't even, I mean, there's no reason to paint it. Now you can if you wanted to, but I think they're just beautiful and what a unique gift, you know, and when you make something, that's why I love DIY and doing things myself because, you know, when you make something, it's so special. And if my mom was still here, oh, she would love this. She always loved anything sparkly, pretty. Um, and if I made it, of course, she was just dumbfounded because she was not crafty and never could understand even a wreath. I, I made her a wreath for her door, you know, every season. And she just was always like, I just can't believe you can make this. This is just beautiful. You know, she was always so impressed because she wasn't crafty. So give it to one of your non-crafty friends and I'll tell you, they'll, they'll be surprised. So um, I'm really not placing this, you know, I'm just kind of 
randomly putting these down. This is a really nice thick glue uh, from Aline's Clear Tacky Glue. And it, you know, like I said, it dries clear. So no worries of it showing. Let me get some more of this out. Actually, I want this smaller. Let's see. What am I missing? Oh, sorry. Did you go to the VIP group? Thank you, Paula, for sprinkling. I so appreciate it. Oh, thank you, Karen. I love doing them. They're, you know, they're just really fun. And I'm just really, I love the look. I have a couple of ideas. I don't know if I'm going to have time. But I thought, how beautiful would this be for a wedding? And you, if you left a little um, space in the middle for them to put the ring. And maybe a little, um, you know, I've got this idea of how to make a little thing that will hold the ring. Um, I just think that would be gorgeous. So when they say, you know, something about the ring, somebody could hand them this. A beach wedding, how pretty. Oh. Once, once I get all this on here, then I will tump it over and, you know, anything that's loose, it'll fall out, but. But for now, we're just, you know, getting some glass in here and, and then we'll layer it up. We'll put some other things. But anybody can do this. And in the kits, I'm putting everything you need. There's nothing that you'll have to buy. It'll just all come in the kit. So the shell, the glass, the glue. Um, any shells, if you purchase, you know, one of these um, that has the small shells, we'll put those in there. And, and so it makes it nice. Also, I was thinking about this earlier, how, uh, because when I was writing my thank you notes on the last orders that I did of these, I was like, thank you for supporting my small business, y'all. Every single purchase you, you don't even know what it does for us because we need that. That's how we can keep doing what we're doing. And I so appreciate, just like the stars or anything else, I'm so grateful for these things. And don't take them for granted. And you guys are always welcome to message me and say, hey, would you put extra, you know, uh, whatever, or do this, you know, I'm happy to help when I can, but that's kind of one of the benefits of a small bit buying from a small business is you can, I'm happy to customize. So if you want more of a certain color of glass or, you know, you don't need the shells, you just need whatever, you know, we can customize it. And so you guys help me and I help you. And I think it's cool. You know, I love supporting other small businesses and I appreciate you guys that support us. Hold up. Let me read comments. I feel like I'm missing Hi, Sissa. How are you today? Yeah, Christy. Did you get yours at Michael's? They have a lot of crushed glass there now. The little, the smaller, like what you're talking about. I don't have any right here, but glue ribbons. Yeah, that's a good idea. Uh-huh. Ribbons would be pretty. You know, and, and if you don't want to cover up this beautiful mauve color around here, but I'm going to go kind of right close to the edge. And then I'm going to put some gold, uh, the gilding paste ar along here, and it's going to be really pretty. So right about here is where I'm going to start kind of stopping what I'm doing with the glass. And so this is the only place that I'm going to kind of more carefully place the pieces so that I leave room for what I have planned. Um, let's see. Okay. Vase filler. So you know where the, the wreaths are like the grapevine wreaths and things like that on that aisle is 
they have like little j plastic jars of, you know, all kinds of things. And that's where it's vase filler is what they call it. It's not going to be like this shiny, pretty glass that I'm using, but it's uh, a good alternative uh, and a good filler, like Christy said. It's small. This glass that I'm using, you can get on Amazon and other places too, but Amazon is the best bet. I've got it in my Amazon store if anybody needs to see exactly the one I order or where it's from, that kind of thing. Oh yeah, you're welcome. Marty, you need to put your business name. Um, Marty has a business and she does the cutest wood signs. She paints a lot and does uh, craft shows and things. So y'all go check out her page if she'll put that link in here or put not the link, but you know, put your business name, link it or whatever so that people can click on it. I do get kind of picky around these edges to put something so that you'll see when I'm, I'll hold this up close where you can see why I want those covered. Okay, let me show you what I'm doing right around here around the base. See that? So I just kind of fill it all in. So you do have to just kind of place them where you want them right around this edge. Thank you, Karen, for sprinkling. Thank you, Sandy. I'm glad y'all like it. Yes. Kind of take a look and see if there's any holes. Um, that's either a good place to put another one or you can put, you know, a seashell or whatever, which we're fixing to do. Okay, so I think it's all full with glass. Isn't that pretty? Just like it is. That would be just beautiful. Get you a little easel like they have at, you know, Michael's Dollar Store, whatever. Just a tiny little easel and it can just sit there beautifully. Or, you know, if you wanted to use it as a ring holder, have it sitting by your sink or somewhere. You could put your little ring on there while you wash your dishes or whatever. So let's add some. I'm, I'm just thinking about adding all these down here. But I think I want some glass too. I think I like it just random. Not, you know, not so thought thoughtful with placement I kind of like it random so I'm just going to try that and put a little bit of glass and then just a little few pieces with these seashells tiny seashells y'all they're so cute I'll put a bigger one in here And then I'm going to put a little tiny starfish. I'm going to put a little more glue right here for that.
Okay, now let's put a starfish on top of this glass. These are the tiniest little babies I've ever, look at that compared to my fingernail. <laughs> it's so tiny. I just love them. Oh, they are very fragile, very, very fragile. So we'll just have that set right on top. Isn't that cute? And don't worry, I've got some pearls to add too. Y'all doing okay? I feel like I'm not talking to you much. Thank you, Anna. Yes, Aline's Techie Glue. Thank you, Maria. Thanks, Issa. I know, aren't they tiny, Michelle? Thank you, Karen. I appreciate you guys. Thanks, Paula. Hi, Mindy. Thank you. I'm so glad you did. I love y'all taking a little break. Like this, I think taking little breaks in the day is so important. Come in here with your friends, chit chat a minute and see something pretty, get an idea. And it just makes your day better, doesn't it? I mean, take little mini breaks and just kind of change your mindset, you know, especially if you're having a hard day or a bad day. It changes your mindset to look at pretty things and to be with a friend or Put one. I have, yeah, this is a pretty small one. I'm going to put a little small shell here. I do kind of like a lot of glue for these just to make sure they're good and secure. And the glue dries clear, so no need to worry about that. I don't know why I don't have my little stick. Deb. Oh, no. I think I can't see it, but it's it's always right here on my desk. Here it is. This is what I'm looking for. If you have a little Cricut tool like this, this helps to kind of turn your beads or your uh, glass how you want it so that that shiny side is facing up. Look, so cute. Oh, yeah. I think it is relaxing watching people do art. I mean, art is... Uh, relaxing whether you do it or whether you're watching other people do it. I think I'm going to put a few of these just kind of randomly on top of some of this glass. So I'll put a big dollop, you know, and just put one down. Y'all see that? Just putting a few kind of random inside here. And then let's add some little pearls. <clears throat> and I'm probably going to do, <coughs> excuse me, some different sizes. These are just Dollar Tree. You know, they come in a packet with all different sizes. So just put a few dollops of glue and have some big and some small in here.
can't find where I put that glue. I don't even see it. That's weird. I cannot see where I put that big dollop of glue. <laughs> oh, I see. I see. Okay. You can take your little tool and kind of turn your bead so that the hole faces away so that when you look at it, you don't see the hole. Or you can buy uh, beads that don't have a hole. But it doesn't bother me. And I'll show you up close how you can't really see the holes at all. Yes, Jessica, I am. I, I, you know, it comes, everything that I'm using, it has the, the sh large shell, the little shells, the glass, the, sh you know, uh, pearls, the glue, everything. So you get it in the mail and can make one the same day. I think these are perfect for Mother's Day. But for yourself too, make one for both of you. <laughs> you just, you know, personal preference on where to place everything. Or you could take your kit and break it apart and make, you know, one with just the glass and then pick up another shell somewhere and use some on, on that. You know, you can do whatever you want. I think that looks great. Can y'all see that? And what do y'all think? Does it need anything? Thank you, Maria. I appreciate you for the stars. Hi, Lila. How are you today? Thank you, Sissa. Yeah. Um, my mom would totally have loved this. Oh, I'm glad you're on your lunch break, Jessica. That's cool. Hi, Jeannie. I know, isn't the sparkle pretty? Yes, so girly and pretty. Now, let's take it up a notch with some gold gilding. I have even put that in a paint packet for you. So, it is an oil-based paint. So, when you get it, in the packet, it's going to look funny because it's not like acrylic paint. So you're going to have to really, you know, kind of knead the packet a little bit and then open it, pour it out, and then you still stir just a little bit. So, um, you know, it's just a different texture than what acrylic paint is. Oh, thank you, Patty. I just think the sparkle is gorgeous. I just, I'm loving using glass with art and getting creative with it. And, and I love sharing that with you guys. Thank y'all. I'm glad y'all like it. The big shells, I, I mean, they come in a kit or you can just find them on Amazon. You can look at Michael's Hobby Lobby, places like that. But they're, they're, you can buy them lots of places, like especially Amazon, Etsy. I'm going to put another pearl right there. It just needed something. Okay. You just, you know, if you buy this in the bottle, it's gold. Uh, premium gilding paint. Now this is Michael's brand, Craft Smart, but um, Plaid sells one that I like. 
I just tried this because they were out of plaid and I like it. So, um, and you may have a brand that you prefer, but it's going to make your brush. So use an old brush or in the kit that I send you has brushes, but it's going to make your brush hard. I mean, like it's unbendable, but when you put it into this gilding again, the brush becomes pliable again. It's the weirdest thing. So now my brush is bendable. So whatever's in here. Um, so use an old brush or the one I send you in the kit if you buy a kit. And then you just brush it on. But it's, see, it's unlike any acrylic paint you can use. It's just a whole nother level of really shiny, beautiful color. And so I just brush it here on the edges. And kind of go around this shell. I have another idea for you guys after this one, if you want to hang out for a little longer. And this, this uh, paint does have a smell. So if you are, uh, you know, sensitive to smells like I am, I've got a fan going, but you can also open a window. Because uh, you might get a headache, you know, I don't know. I, I get headaches easily from smells, and this does have a pretty strong smell. But you won't be having a big bottle open. You'll have your little paint packet, and it won't be as much. So it may not bother you, but oil-based paint is going to have a, a strong smell. Just going around the edges with this brush, super easy. There's nothing to it. I'll show you all this up close. It's really, really pretty. But look how fast we did this and it's a gorgeous gift i think if you bought this in a store somewhere a little boutique it'd be expensive okay y'all tell me what you think of that gold i just think it really brings it up a notch let's see what you're saying Yes, a close-up. Okay. Can y'all see that? Yeah, this, Michelle, this is my brush. I have two of these, you know, different sizes that are my designated. No, the shell, this pink one, if you choose the pink one, the kit, it is this beautiful mauve color just naturally that's how it is now you can also guys do something fun and let's put this on top of something and paint your shells and then add them so watch this It doesn't take much of this paint at all. Um, so you could definitely do some of your shells in this gold if you want to. You could even do your little starfish gold. We can do our B with some gold. Y'all getting some ideas?
these little cricket tools come in so handy. <laughs> now the one at Dollar Tree, it, it's too big. Their little uh, pokey tool like this has a much bigger tip on it and I you can't do it with that one. But if you happen to have this one or get one on Amazon or something, then you can use it to hold your little beads. You can even paint your glass. So let's just show you that. I'm just going to paint one side of it. Because like I said, your kit will have enough that you can do lots of things with it. Let that dry. Maybe one more shell we'll put on there and Oh, this is the one that's got, did y'all see this? Oh, there's a tiny baby shell inside this shell. I love it. So I'm going to get that out uh, with some tweezers or something. Love that. But these shells are super pretty painted in this gold and they'll be nice to add to that. Okay, then just, you just put your brush away It'll dry up hard, but then when you put it back in here the next time, it's good again. Oh, thank you guys. It is super delicate. I mean, so tiny. Ooh, Carol, that would be gorgeous for sure. Thank you, Chris. Carol, I'll probably set mine on a little easel. Um, you can use a diamond drill bit and drill a hole and hang it if you want to. Um, you could attach a ribbon with E6000, something that will hold it for sure without coming off. Hot glue would not. It's heavy. Um, so maybe some E6000 and let it dry really well before you try to hang it. Um, then you could hang it. And that would be super pretty, especially like in a bathroom or a a powder room, you know, somewhere your office. That'd be real pretty. Let's see. I'm going to glue these gold ones on here now. This really isn't quite, quite, quite dry. I think I'll wait on that. Oh, I dropped it. I sure did. I dropped it. Let's see if I can find it. It's so tiny. Yeah. It's gone. It's so tiny. Let's see. Well, I'll just put a little piece of glass. It's okay. But I think that would be really pretty to have the little gold shells added. Isn't that pretty? I just love these. Okay, so that's that. And I think... This is a brand new one. This will be a new art kit. Um, you know, I have one on here similar, 
but it does not have as many shells. So probably um, I'll have to add a new listing so that so that you get the actually I might not. I don't know. I might just start adding the additional shells so that you have more in there. And but that that's it. That's I just love this. I think that would be a great gift. OK, then the other idea I had was why can't we do that and make some earrings with this seashell kind of things? So I'm going to try that real quick. Um, let's see for a base color. Might do. Let me think what I want. I think I'm going to do this color with a little bit of this shimmery over it and then we'll add some glass and things. Because you know, I love to make my own earrings and things like that. So this, all you have to do is just paint your base. These are the earring blanks that are by Delight Design. And she is giving anybody that, that knows me and uses my code ARTGRACE free shipping. So that saves you six bucks. And... Um, they are wonderful. They're, if you've bought any, let me know, because I know several of my friends have bought from her. Um, but they're good quality wood, you know, uh, earrings, but they're so lightweight. I literally forget they're on. Um, the only way I know is because the little pokey, you know, the little thing that goes through your ear will sometimes touch my neck, but they're just so lightweight, you don't feel them. So I love the thickness of them because they're good and sturdy. Let me know if y'all have any. They would, Jeannie, for sure. Yeah, especially if you do the, oh my gosh, that would be gorgeous to do a whole tree like that. Do the smaller shells and just put them all over. Be beautiful. Great idea. So I won't worry about the backs of these today. You know, I'll just show you what I would do on the front. I need to put these little gold beads on that shell too. Yeah. I'm not, you know, I'm, I've never done nautical or anything beachy in our home, but I would do that tree. That would be gorgeous. Donna, um, let me see if I can tag her business down here. It never lets me. I don't know why, unless it's because I'm on here as my business page. Let's see. Let me try one other thing. Now I do have it. Okay. I'm going to. I tagged her, so she'll probably pop in here if she sees this and put her business name. But um, uh, on my website, I have all my favorite products on one page, and she's on there. So you could click on that link. And my business page or my website is artgracepaint.com. So artgracepaint.com. Dot com. I'm going to actually glue a couple of these gold beads on here. So that just added a little gold touch to 
really pretty. And then let's do these earrings. So same thing, we can do some glass if we want to. We can do some shells. I like the little starfish. Let's see if I have any smaller. Oh yeah, that's cute. Some of these are just so tiny. Look at this. Can y'all see that? So tiny. Those work good. And then, oh, that's what I was looking for. Oh, I need to put my little um, pearl. This is oyster pearl. And it is the most beautiful color over it, really anything. It just gives a beautiful, soft shimmer. It's very subtle. Hi, Darlene. How are you this morning or today? No, Mindy, thank you so much. But it is just Art Grace. That is the code for free shipping with Delight Design. Um, just Art Grace. And then my website is Art Grace Paint. Thank you for putting that. Delight Design Accessories. I don't know. There is another Delight Design. I don't want to tag the wrong one. Um, that's why I always need help from her because I, I would have to go look myself. I'm going to show you all this up close and let you see how pretty. It's just a very subtle shimmer. Nothing over the top. Nothing like glittery. It's just really pretty. Let me show you compared. Y'all see that? I always have to wait a second and be sure y'all can see because my iPad has to get. Can you see? I see hearts. So maybe that's gorgeous little shimmer. Thank you. I know it's so pretty. Did she get on, Sissa? Surely I don't sell transfers. I haven't even really used them um, other than maybe some Dollar Tree things here and there, but I love watching people use them. And hello, Vicki from South Carolina. Glad you're here. I know, Deborah, it's so t tiny. Okay, um, but again, Oyster Pearl, if, if you were wondering, it's just a really pretty color. I'm going to dry that. Oh, there she is. Thank you, Char. I am sorry that I know there is another business close to yours, and I just, my brain doesn't think, and so I could not, I didn't want to tag the wrong one. Delight Design or DelightAccessories.com. See, I always want to put the design in there. Thank you so much. I'm so glad you saw the tag. I have just had so much fun painting all kind of things on these. Let me show y'all the most recent. So I don't think, you, I don't know if y'all have seen the church, little church. I know most of y'all have seen my flamingos. And then this is the newest one I did was the Texas with this uh, where's my Texas painting? Do you see my Texas painting right there? So this is that same painting just, you know, on the earring. So anything that you see that you like or, you know, want to match, you can put on an earring and then just put it on your hooks. And, oh, so fun to make. So, oh, and look, I've got a lot of them sitting here. Blue bonnets. So Char sells these in all kind of shapes all kind of you know things and you can just these are forget-me-nots i painted these to wear during my alzheimer's event um so anyway but i've got so many to paint i have flamingos where are my flamingos i just had here they are i just had them out to do 
So y'all get on there and take advantage of that free shipping. It's so generous of her to do that for us. And I appreciate it so much, Char. Yes, I love these flamingos. I can't wait to paint them. Sissa, no, but, um, you know, if you're in the VIP group, I will send you some. Message me. If you buy from Char and you're in the VIP group, I will send you some earring hangers. Um, I can't do it just blanket for everybody. And I still might put together some kits. I know, Anna, those flamingos are going to be so, so cute. Yes, yeah, Char, thank you so much for your generosity. Because, you know, I know small businesses, you lose the six or whatever dollars it costs to ship. So thank you for that. So look how adorable these are going to be. Everybody's going to want a pair if you wear these. And great, um, what do you call it? Uh, what's the word when you, like conversation starter, you know? Um, you know people will love them. So, okay, we're going to do some of the seashell stuff on here. I'm going to find a few small seashells in my little bag here. And I do try to, you know, if I'm going to use, they don't need to be exact because, you know, they're on different ears on different sides. So is this earring exactly the same as this one? No. But can you really tell? No. So don't worry about that. Yeah. Okay, Anna, I can do that. I, I love, when you guys message me and say you want to buy something that I've made, I am so grateful. That just makes me so happy. I love that. So I'm happy to. Anything that you see me paint, I sell. Um, I don't, like, advertise it really. But I do get messages and sell it all the time, and I'm happy to. It makes me real happy. And Anna, you have one coming. It's uh, in a box ready to be shipped. You, so I can definitely open it up and add another whatever you need. Okay, so I'm just kind of getting two of everything. Whatever I'm going to use on one, I'll use on the other. So just kind of finding some matching sizes. They don't have to be exact, like I said, but... And I'm wondering about this glass. Let's just see what it would look like. You're not going to be using very much, so it won't add much weight. I mean, literally no weight because you're not adding much. But I just want to see. I don't know if I like the glass on there. We're just going to see. And I hope y'all can see this. I know it's small. Um, hopefully y'all can see. So I'm just going to kind of play around with it. We can even add sand, y'all. Should we add sand? Um, we could add sand at the bottom and have the seashells kind of on top. I think that would be cute. Listen, I love playing around. You can do whatever you want. There's no rules with art. Y'all let me know what you think of the sand. Should we add sand? I just don't, oh. Chrissy said sand. <laughs> That's right, Jeannie. That's so cute. Deborah says add sand. Hi, Debbie. How are you today? Good to see ya. I'm so excited for our event this weekend. I'm like nervous because I really want to, like the stuff that I want to do, I don't have time. So um, you guys be sure that you are in the sparkle room. Uh, it, I have it all over my page. I've got posts and I've got it in my story, but Saturday and Sunday we're doing the sparkle room. Uh, Chris and Kathy are doing an event where we're going to be doing fairy gardens and I've never done one and so I really you know was looking at ideas on Pinterest trying to get wrap my head around what I would do and I never found anything that I loved and Debbie Rigg with Studio MDAZ posted and said she was doing it and that she was going to just go rogue she was going to do her own thing and I was like yes that's what I need to do I, I can't you know, do exactly like what I'm seeing because it just isn't me. 
So I'm making it my own. So you guys be sure and tune in. We did change my time. I traded with somebody that needed a different time. So I'll be Saturday at 7 p.m. Central. So you guys write that down. And I don't know, Debbie, if you are still on here, tell us what time you are. Um, she may have popped off because she is such a busy lady. But, okay, I really like this. I think these are going to be super pretty. Another attention grabber and conversation starter, too. So do y'all think sand? Paint a fairy garden and add that glass. Mindy, you know me, don't ya? Oh, I know. I love Beth, too. 1130 Central. Yes, you were going to be right before me because I was, are you sure you're, you were, you're 1130? Yeah, I was 1215 because I was like, yes, Debbie's going to be right before me. Um, but so now I'm, I'm Saturday at seven, but yes, we will. I'll be watching. I have nothing on my agenda for Saturday and Sunday besides church Sunday, but I will be watching everybody. It's going to be really fun. I'm like I said, I'm not like into fairy gardens. I've never done anything like that, but I'm into it now. I'm excited and I can't wait to see everybody's design. I'm going to grab some sand here. This is how your sand comes in your packet. If you get the, oh, Debbie, let me show you this before you hop off. This is the one we just did with all of the sparkly bling and gold and painted a few of the shells with that gold gilding. Hi, Kim. How are you today? And then this is the one, the blue one has sand in the kit. You can see it down here. Um, and you'll get enough sand that you could use it on several things. So, oh, thanks, Debbie. I This is my favorite so far. This is, I was telling them, you know, if, um, if you knew my mom, she would just have just died over this. She would have just loved this. Um, and she always just never could understand, you know, how, how people can make things like that. She just wasn't crafty. So she didn't get it. Just blew her mind. So I'm going to put out a little sand here. I need to grab some triple thick, I mean, um, tacky glue, and then we'll just kind of move these off. You keep them kind of keep the little elements right here by me. And we're just going to put this tacky glue down here and spread it with our little stick. And then we'll put the sand on. These I can definitely make into a kit if you guys want to uh, purchase the earrings. And this would have everything you need. It would have the paint, the earring base, uh, the glue, the sand, and the shells, and the little glass. So these are going to be easy to make a kit with if anybody is interested in that. Oh, y'all, this is going to be so cute. I love adding. I'm glad y'all said yes to the sand. This is going to be so cute. Look at that. This is going to be a great conversation starter. You can also paint this blue and your earring would look similar to this. So, yeah, lots of things you can do. You just have to think outside the box a little and just kind of get, get creative. Or see somebody do it and then you're like, yes, I can do that. Sometimes all you need is a little inspiration. So it's literally as easy as gluing on these elements. Now, when it comes to these little pearls, it helps to have something to place it how you want it so that that hole is sideways and not facing the person, you know, that looks at it because then they, they can't even tell that it's got a hole in it. For the sealer on these earrings, I use, I use resin sometimes, but triple thick is the next best thing. And it's so much easier for people to use that I'm going to do triple thick on these earrings. Of course, Sissa, I sure will. I'm sorry that I haven't already talked to you. Uh, blue glitter for water. Yes, Maria, how pretty. That would be gorgeous. The shells need to sit on something. I'm so glad, Carol. Did you get your code? Did you use the code for free shipping? 
the earring holders. Do you mean the little hooks? Um, okay, you guys. Oh, thanks, Tony. You are Debbie. That is awesome. We need to, we need to make you one. Um, I'm sorry. I forget what somebody asked me and I, mm, oh, the, the earring hooks. So I get them on Amazon in a big kit, you know, um, if you'll message me, I'll, I'll, I'll send you a couple. So just message me or, or you can get a, if you bought a bunch of, yeah, you bought a bunch, you said, so you'll want to go to Amazon and I have them linked on my Amazon page, which is, uh, you'll do www.amazon.com forward slash art grace, I think is all. I don't think you put the paint. I think it's just art grace. But it is linked on my website, so you can always go to artgracepaint.com and then get to my Amazon store there. And I have all my earring. I don't hold back. So if I buy it and use it, I put it there so that you guys can as well. I know a lot of people who watch me uh, have businesses and they do craft shows. If you want to, you know, take this idea and make it and sell it at your craft show, go for it. If you do it online, I ask that you please just let them know that you saw it for me, you know, because um, we, we want to give each other credit, you know, so that other people can can come and watch. Um, but if you're doing it at a craft show or something, you don't have to just sell it and make some money. I'll show y'all this up close. Give me one second. I think this is turning out cute. I'm liking this. I might want one more of those. Let's see. Or pearl. Let's put a pearl. That will be better. Needs another little pearl right there. Another great Mother's Day gift. And if you don't have your mom, like I don't, then make it for a friend. That's the best way to heal hurt is to do something for somebody else. And, you know, when you... When you think, you know, oh, I don't even want to go to church. It's Mother's Day and it's going to be sad. Make it into a happy day. Go to church and give every woman a hug. You know, just turn it around because I know Satan wants us to stay in a stuck place of, you know, misery and sadness. But God wants us to bless others and to be a blessing. And you can be even through the pain. Y'all, that's going to be a precious earring. What do y'all think? I like that. So picture this. How cute. Another conversation starter. And you can do the background any color you want. Is that, it looks so blurry on my, from my perspective. I hope it's not so blurry. You like it? It didn't work, Rhonda. Well, Char's on here, so she can check it. Thank y'all. Yes, Tony, I'll sell pretty much anything you see me do, I can sell. I, uh, you know, I love helping y'all. I love if you got, I, I lowered my chair last night, and I feel so like a little kid down here. Um, but I think it's helping my back a little to sit lower, so I'm trying it for a day. Um, oh, I'm so glad y'all like these. Thank you. I just... This is gorgeous. I wish y'all could see it in person. It's so much prettier in person. And then we'll triple thick, you know, uh, over this whole thing. Not over the, I mean, you don't have to triple thick over everything unless you want to, but um, just definitely this part. I'd probably triple thick over the sand, actually. Uh, just an extra layer of protection, but that is so pretty. I'm really happy that y'all said add the sand. I think it might have been Christy. Christy, you are so creative yourself. And this is the fun of having friends on here with us when we create because, you know, sometimes we 
especially from this perspective, and I do most of my things upside down. So sometimes y'all have a better vantage point and can say, yes, add the sand. That's going to be cute. Whereas I was thinking, mm, I don't know if I want sand on here. Is it going to look weird? But yeah, it looks super cute. Kind of check and see if it's about the same, you know, level. And it is. So then I'm going to try to reverse the element. So if I have a pearl over here, I'll put one over here on this opposite side. But don't worry about being exact because, like I said, they're on two sides, you know, on each side of your head. No one's going to go, hold on, could you take those off so I can examine and be sure they're exactly the same? Nobody cares. They're going to be super pretty and impressed that you did it. Y'all see me use this little Cricut tool all the time. It's just, it's so helpful in placing things. I will definitely, I will definitely triple thick over all of it now that I think about it because you want this starfish to have a good coating of triple thick. It will make it, um, it's almost like ear, uh, almost like resin. So it will give it a hard, secure surface and won't break. Oh, Deborah, awesome. Yes, Cheryl, gorgeous. That would be so pretty. Yeah, Char, I think it is case sensitive now that you say that. I see that. Um, okay, so another glass. I'm so glad y'all are enjoying this because I really think these are going to be fun to wear. And I like these in particular because they're kind of neutral. So I probably will want, you know, the blue ones as well. But these I can wear with anything, you know. And they're just so summery and fun. So another great Mother's Day gift. And if your mother is still, you know, able to be active and do things, get a couple and do it together. That's even better. I mean, man, I'd give anything to have my mom back to do a craft with. So, you know. Sometimes it's a little hassle if your mom is older and, you know, grumpy or um, can't move her hands well or whatever. But it's just being together and doing something together. So, okay. There we go. How pretty. Those are, like, elegant. I really, really like them. What do you think, Char? I'm so glad you were able to pop in here. Can y'all see those pretty good? Oh, Deborah, how pretty. Okay, I will, Deborah. Um, they are, the uh, the shell kits are on my website. But I can definitely, y'all, it, it's easier if you message me because sometimes I will send somebody a message that asked and it sits in that weird place where you have to approve it. So it's really easier if you send it to me. So just send me a message and ask a question or something and, but that's it. That's the, the really blingy one we did. This would be a good video to sprinkle out. So if you guys haven't sprinkled, I would really appreciate it. Give everybody a chance to see this and maybe make one for their mama or sister, friend, or themselves. And then that's another one we've done before. And then let me show you the earrings up close again. Thank y'all for the hearts. 
I love giving you guys these ideas. So thank y'all for showing up and thank you so much. I appreciate y'all. Yeah, I think these are great. Now remember these blanks come in all shapes. Let me show you some of them. You guys cannot wait to do these. So cute. Picture that all painted up. So cute. Even glitter. We could definitely put some pink glitter on here or something. No telling. And then here's some of my shapes that I have. I like, she has on her website all sizes. So if you want a really large one, or if you, maybe that's too big and you like a more subtle. Y'all, thank you for the stars. I just realized I've got 350 stars. Um, I'll go back and thank you guys individually because I appreciate that. But all different shapes. I asked for Texas. She she made some Texas for me. Let's see, is that where you can see it? Um, let's see. Hearts, teardrop, anything you can think of for earrings. I mean, she's got it. And here's my Texas, one of them that I painted. Isn't that pretty? So anything you can think of, you can paint on these earrings. Thank you, Chris. I appreciate it. Yes, sis, I can make a flamingo kit. Sure can. Yeah, I'll, I'll make up some of these earring kits in just a minute and list them. Now, it's not quick. It takes a little bit of time because you've got to photograph them and, and put them on your website and all that. So if it's easier for you, you can just message me and I can just tell you a price. You know, we can do it that way, too. No big deal. Thank you, Vicki. How sweet of you. I appreciate that. Yes, y'all, thanks for coming today. This was really fun for me. I hope it was for you. And I hope hope this gives you ideas. And, um, aw, thanks, Donna. Yes, this is the one that I think is, is just the coolest. Look at that. Look at that shine. So pretty. So, yes, watch the replay. Okay, Chris, no problem. Happy to help you guys. All right, y'all have a great day. Thank you again. And let's see, today is Thursday. Tomorrow is Friday. I don't know if I'll be, yeah, I think I'll be live tomorrow at 11. And um, then definitely tune in all day Saturday and Sunday for the Fairy Garden event in the Sparkle Room. You, If you go to my page, just, you know, after you get out of this live, you'll see an announcement and how to get into the group. But it's a free group. You need to be in that group. That's where so much good things happen. Chris and Kathy run that group and just do events all the time and have fabulous things in there. So get in that group and have fun with us this weekend. All right, guys, have a good day. See you soon. Bye.